One Portsmouth City Councilman tweeted his dismay for the interstate shutdown. Yeah, Bill Moody now apologizing for his word choice after he called the Black Lives Matter protesters thugs. Ten on your science, Deanna LeBlanc spoke to Moody about his message. Deanna? Yes, yeah, Stefan Laura Moody said he was uh, out of the area and spoke to me by phone. He said he did not realize at the time that the word thug has such a negative connotation, but that he stands by his claim the protesters shouldn't have blocked the interstate. This is the tweet that has Councilman Bill Moody backpedaling today. He writes, I am getting calls from people who are having trouble getting home, and as far as I know, nobody has been arrested. Nothing but thugs. No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! He wrote it after Black Lives Matter's protesters marching in Portsmouth turned onto Interstate 264, blocking the entrance to the downtown tunnel for about an hour. I was frustrated knowing that it's illegal to shut down the interstate. I was frustrated, so I, I used... Uh, a word uh, to uh, to describe them that I shouldn't have used. It was way too strong. Moody now apologizing for the word choice, a word social psychologist Dr. Karen Holmes says can shape the public's view of the movement. Protesters are peaceful. They have a common goal. They have a common voice. Thugs suggest a group of out of control criminals. It's a word that can divide a community needing to come together, stirring a pot already reaching its boiling point. It's often used as a euphemism for the N word. Moody told me over the phone he did not know that when he wrote the tweet, and he says he supports the Black Lives Matter movement but can't support blocking a major highway. That said, I do feel that uh, the law shouldn't have been broken and the interstate shouldn't have been shut down and the tunnel shut down. I, I think they could uh, have done their protesting uh, with, without uh, doing that. While he felt the heat from many on Twitter today, on Facebook, where he again apologized, Moody saw some support. And during our interview, I asked Councilman Moody if he had thought about deleting the tweet or if he felt it was better to tweet a correction. He told me he did not know how to delete tweets, but has now since taken it down. I'm Deanna LeBlanc, 10 on your side.